Red Gill Productions produces the types of videos that grows, informs, and enhances your business, whether it's for promotional, training, or nonprofits. Call Dennis at 231-903-2128. And for the green slime, number one, Avery Blackmere, number two, Chloe Rose, number three, Allison Phillips, number four, Alexa Cannon, number five, Mia Giohan, number six, Lily Miller, number seven, Chesney Robbins, number eight, Summer Darrow, number nine, Grace Thump, and number ten, Lauren Hurley. And here's your team for the Red Road Runners: number one, Olivia Casher. Number two, Jenna Baker. Number three, Chloe Griswold. Number six, Sierra Vredeveld. Number seven, Ava Dunn. Number eight, Elizabeth Eckerman. Welcome to the Mona Shores Youth Basketball. This is the 2014 Lower the Rim Shoot for Success. Fundraiser, Floyd Fonte along with Joe Vest and Dennis Threadgill. This production is brought to you by Threadgill Productions. Um, this broadcast and all the uh, funding from this is the funding for the Lower the Rim Shoot for the Success, which we'll talk about later on. As we get underway here, there. that is our final game of the day, and we have Joe the Green Slime. We are coached by Ken Rose and the Red Road Runners, who are coached by Tara Dunn, who is not able to be here today, so Mike Casher will be the lead coach. And the varsity coach for the Road Runners is Sarah Jones of the varsity, and varsity coach for the slime is Amy Gillings. Jenna Baker just scored a, a hoop for the uh, Red Road Runners. And now just stole the ball. Get up there. Um, did a great job. Well, it's another basket by Jenna Baker. Well, the Roadrunners coming right out as uh, we'll be playing two halves, 18-minute uh, halves. And so we're just down to 17 minutes and 4-0 uh, with the Roadrunners. And the slime is uh, nice pass. Grace Sum. That was a good pass by Grace. Nice pivot by number five. That's um, on, uh, Grace, Mia Gagan. Mia Gagan. And, steal. and, uh, uh, and it's stolen by Grace Sum. And here Jenna comes. Baker. You know, she's very, been at, very active so far. Six yes. points already. <laughs> We've been Seven talking about it with the other games. If it's working, Gabe doing it. Yeah. So She's Coach Rose is going to have to uh, he's going to have to put a little stop on uh, that one there. As uh, Ken Rose, the coach of the uh, Green Slime, Ken Rose, great guy coming out here coaching. He's uh, got an opportunity to see him coach. He coaches varsity. Uh, football and he also was uh, coached this summer in an all-star uh, football game and uh, you know it looks like uh, he's able to do more than he was with those uh, grown uh, yeah. football guys I'm, I'm noticing there's a bit of a size difference the red team uh, the uh, a little bit taller I'd taller, say yeah <laughs> so green has a little bit of an uphill ba uh, battle here the green and uh, each uh, team gets to pick. Nice pass Miller was over on the, there. On the defense there a second ago, and she did a good job. That was a good, good pass by Jenna Baker. And but she scored again. That would be eight already. Yes. Mia Gagan bringing the ball up. Mia Gagan. She did a good job on that pivot. You noticing that? Yes, and uh, good nice job, job coming nice job. over is uh, Lily Miller. She's a fourth grader. And, and a good shot. Lily made a good shot there. Good take. So that'll be a point that'll go for the slime as uh, let's see. They'll bring in the other subs, but uh, Summer Darrow just went in, I noticed. Um, who else am I seeing there? Number two is uh, 
Chloe Rose. Lily Miller up to try to get another point for her team, the Slime. And I can say that I've had the opportunity to call many games uh, and my time of calling games in different sports, but I've never had the opportunity to uh, coach a team, or not coach, but call a team uh, Slime, the Green Slime, never, of course. Yeah, that's unique. They come out, I know that comes out of the Nickelodeon, and I know the whole thing there. So the ladies get to pick their team, and uh, they're ready. We had a nice conversation with the uh, referees um, between games, and those guys are doing a great job out there helping the girls understand the concepts of the games. Uh, Dennis um, Chapman and uh, Clayton, um, I don't remember yeah, what his last name uh, was. Yeah, Cockrell, I believe it was. Cockrell, yes. yes. Great guys. They, 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 they were fun. They enjoy uh, what they're doing, and they're uh, really good at it. Shot. Lily on the shot and gets her own rebound. That's a great play. Gets taken back around and guess who? Yeah, Baker. <laughs> Baker takes the shot and coming across is Ava Dunn. Baker again, boy. Baker is just cannot miss. Alexandra Cannon just coming in. Now she'll provide some size for the team. She's a taller girl. She'll give Lily Miller a break. As it is the Rope Runners 10. Line play. one. Nice job That's coming to job. the basket. Chloe yeah. Rose, she's sporting a sweet headband. <laughs> nice shoes, too. They all have these yeah, yeah. wild colored shoes. Look at this defensive position she has right here. Uh, the, uh, Chloe Rose. Nice, nice pick. Well done. Yeah, and they that switched we use, on defense. We use Good words point. like pick and switch on defense, and we're talking about second through fourth grade uh, players here. Wow, number one with the shot and the rebound and another shot. That's Kasher. Olivia Kasher is fourth grade for the uh, Roadrunners, who are leading by nine with 12 minutes left in the first half. Nice pick. Chloe Rose with a really good pick. And Allison, uh, Allison Phillips, who is uh, in third grade. And we talked earlier. There it is. Shoe oh. adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> There's now, hardly the a game that goes by when it's not a yeah. shoe tying timeout. <laughs> Well, at least they're not like in some of the other sports that we see pro sports where guys laying on the ground and taking a breather. These girls go full speed all the way. Coach Ken Rose of the Green Slime team is working the sideline. He is doing it, instructing. Blackmer uh, with the ball right now. She's going to take it right to the basket. Just misses. And on the rebound. I believe that was Kasher. I think you're on the wrong team there. Kasher. You are correct. I was Collins. It's all good. Blackbeard's on the slime. Thanks. <laughs> That's okay. Keep Jenna straight, Baker with the score. We have Allison Phillips with the ball. Allison Phillips, and she is. Oh, nice. She took it left. Very deliberate. Okay. Oh, now that's some speed. That was well done. Now there's Black Mirror into the ball game. Phillips just under trying to get it, and nice hustle on side defensively for the road runners. You know, Phillips was a little deep on that shot, but it was a great idea, and she had done a great job of handling the ball a moment ago. Going left, very difficult for this age uh, uh, young person to do. Uh, well done by her. Chloe uh, Griswold comes in for the road runners. And Phillips, oh, the that's shot job. didn't go. And uh, Rose, nice job holding the ball. Then she let go of uh, Cashier. I think she might have been able to get herself a uh, <laughs> coach. Coach Rose says, hey, I'm going to call a jump ball. And he says, well, because she uh, let go of the ball. <laughs> Tell her to hang on to the ball. Castro just scored a great drive. Yes. She took it from um, top of the key uh, all the way around the right side. Got it right to the basket. Got a fun time here as Rose will. Chloe Rose. 
Dribbling left with her left hand. Well done. She brings it back out to uh, Phillips. A nice rebound and put up. Doesn't go. That was uh, Alexandria Cannon. Yep. Cannon. You know, again, what she did really well on that rebound, she rebounded uh, high and then she kept the ball up and shot it high again. Uh, she didn't bring it down. That's, that's really good technique. You know, we're going to get a chance to talk to uh, Mike Phillips, who's the junior varsity coach and oversees the uh, junior sailors teams here um, at halftime here. But uh, one of the things that he had talked about is the technique. That's what they wanted to show the girls. And they have done, they, the coaches, an excellent job of teaching these young ladies, like right there. Casher, you see, stop ball, so she just took it she right. She just to the takes rim. it. If it's open, then go. Yep. And you know that's just not something that you just get at any level. Needless to say, at this level. I've watched uh, girls basketball for a long time. I have four girls that play, and one of the things that has frustrated me at times is a girl will try to run a play instead of being instinctive. Yes. Doing what they need, just need to do. Just do this. And uh, I, I see these girls, see they see the opening, and they're taking it to the opening. That's what they're supposed to do. Yes, exactly, uh, Joe. And that's uh, one of the things that uh, I talked to Mike Phillips about is the fact that they anticipate now. They're watching. They got the chance to go watch a great game last night uh, with the Mona Shore Lady Sailors. Took on the Reese Buffer Rockets, a big rivalry, and beat them. And uh, that only fired the... Uh, varsity coach players that are down here but that fires up these girls who are at the game and guest of uh, the lady uh, sailors as you see another great move right here. Wow, nice shot. As uh, that was uh, Viterville. And Was that Ava Dunn on the, yeah. on the basket? I believe it's number seven. You know, I think the height of the Red Raiders is just really tough for the uh, green slime to to manage. Nice job. Great something over there and definitely a height advantage for the most part with the road runners. You know, they're um, just getting a lot of shots on the rim. You know, you, you basically they're able to shoot until they score for the most part. Yeah, That's Lily, tough. Lily Miller is the tallest uh, slime player. Green slime and uh, boy, this looks like this looks like a uh, a rugby uh, a formation. <laughs> yeah, throw in. Oh, that's a good pass. <laughs> nice rebound. Uh, Gagnon. Good job, Green. Eyes on the ball. Eyes on the ball. Darn Hurley playing some good defense. Look at her face. I mean, she is getting after it down there. Lauren's a second grader. What I like is everybody's getting a chance here, as you see uh, coming down now. Good job. Is uh, available, Green. Maya. Boy, they're gonna this time. No, no way is Lauren Hurley going to say, I'm giving up. And then so, of course, it is called now a jump ball. She's battling for that ball. Though the arrow this time happens to go to the road runners, but she knew what she needed to do. Summer, keep your eyes up. Staring at the floor. Watch the ball. <laughs> Summer Darrell comes out. Number eight is out there now, and uh, some pretty strong defense being yes. played there. Uh, number three, uh, Allison Phillips. Get on it, have a girl. Michaela Benedict there uh, made a pretty good move with the ball um, in traffic. It's tough. Four minutes and fifty-five Michaela's seconds it out left. Now, by the way, yes. Oh, another shoe tie. Time for All the right. shoe for adjustment. Game. You know, we didn't have any second game, but we've had two, so that yes. averages to one a game. <laughs> 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 
Nice pass inside. Tried, but great That's defense good idea. by Rose. Rose. Made a good play on the ball there. Rose, and good job getting down and ready. And over there for the rebound was uh, Summer Dara. I liked how she hustled. She was She's ready to go. Yeah. She's you know, back one down thing on I liked defense. about Rose's play there, Floyd, was that she took it down left and shot it left with her left hand. Really well done. Good job by uh, Blackburn knocking that ball back out. And great play here by the Green Slime on the rebound. Can it on the floor. floor. Oh, what a play. A little give more instruction by the uh, by the referee. I appreciate that. Once the ball is on the ground, you have it on the ground. You possess it. You can't stand up with it. You have to dribble or pass. I think that's what he's explaining to the team, to the girls. Dunn was in there also, and there goes Phillips. Well, you just want the slime to hit a shot. You yes. Know, they're they're putting the ball on the rim. They're doing a good job. It's just not going in. All the fundamentals are there. It's just not going is right. As Dunn tries to put great, it inside, but good defense. Here comes Allison Phillips. I believe Avery Blackman got a hand on that ball. That was a good play. Dunn will bring it back down with three minutes, 15 seconds left in the first half. The Roadrunners getting off to a fast start to lead by 17. <laughs> well good defense. Jump stop. There it goes. Well done. Good job. That's it. Just keep practicing and going. And uh, uh, nice job of uh, the players. I like how they all get back on defense and say, yep. hey, nice shot. Team play. What we've seen all along here has been team. Haven't seen anybody that's just, uh, you know, been, like uh, focusing on themselves. They're playing she's great got the team. Arm bar out there. She's dribbling. That's a good play. Uh, who's that? Number six. Peter Bell. Sarah Biedervelt, good and job. Nice hustle. Yeah, they're willing to die for the Rose, ball. Yeah. It's Chloe Rose. It's a coach's daughter. She probably knows what she's doing. Here comes Phillips. Oh, good oh, on another one. one. Way to go. Here come the Roadrunners. They're coming back now. Well, that's a slime. <laughs> the slime, <laughs> I slime. mean. Yeah. Slime, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to forget the slime. Yeah, how can I forget those guys? Watch the ball. Summer, watch the ball. Nice defense. Good ball handling also on both sides. Of yeah, the solid both ways. Today. Rose with the ball, and she will take it all the way. Chloe shot with the left hand again. I love that about her. She's going to get that down. That one will be coming in, but they're, she must they're be right where That's they really need good. to be, yes. Allison Phillips playing good defense. Knocked over uh, my light cow uh, cannon. If she can't grab it, she'll at least knock it back. And Benedict was with the shot. Blackmer on the rebound. Nice pass over to Phillips, who stops, ah. takes the shot. Done coming back. You know, the uh, Roadrunners have had a bit of a drought scoring-wise. I haven't seen them score in a while. That means the uh, the slime have really picked up their defense. Yes, they have. Here comes Rose. Chloe Rose. Left-handed shot. Boy, there's something about a left-handed shot. It's just beautiful. I yes. love the left-handed shot. <laughs> University of Kentucky has a kid this year. I'm a Kentucky fan. Um, who shoots left-handed. He, It's just beautiful. James Young. I love <laughs> And are you left-handed? No, but I just love the left-handed <laughs> shot. Boy, the green is working. The green is, and their defense is tightened up. As we've said, now they're still down by 13. 18 for the Roadrunners and 5 for the Slime. 46 seconds in the first half, but bit. they're coming back. Yep. There's Phillips. Nice and a nice down. rebound and put up. It just keeps going in and out for the slime. It just won't go down for him. You know, Cannon was in position there. She made a good, strong rebound. Again, didn't bring the ball down. She shot it right back at the rim. I thought it was in. Um, <laughs> they, they need a couple of those. You, you can, you can uh, chip away at this yes. lead a bit before half, and it's about half. But if you could chip away just a little bit more, really give you a little confidence going into the second half. Another steal, I believe, by the green. Nice job. 
Cannon with a pass. Over to there we go. Dutch. Dutch. Yes. And it is two more points. Creeping back into it is the green slime, as this should be the last shot of the first half. Phillips with that last basket. You know, you, you just chip away, and then you get a little momentum. And, and that's what I believe they've done. So that'll end the first half here. It is the Roadrunners 18 and the Green Slime 7. Get ready for a great second half. And we're also going to have a special guest here, Mike Phillips, to tell us a little bit about the uh, fundraising. In fact, here he is right on cue. Michael, great. Tell us a little bit about the program that you have here and that you've been working with with the young ladies that you guys got put together. Yeah, we've uh, we've tried to expand a little bit every year, and uh, this year added five weeks before the, the game session. I think, you know, having that seven and a half hours of just fundamental instruction has really helped to prepare the kids, uh, you know, for, for game play. You see a lot, of, a lot of kids doing the right thing in the right position. So I think that's going to help to pay off some dividends in the long run. Well, Joe Vest and I were talking about how you can see these young ladies. You, you know, they're all the way from, I saw you had one person who's in first grade, but for the most part, second through fourth grade. But not only do they have the basics down, but they're starting to they anticipate, you know, and you can tell that they've been watching some basketball and they go to the varsity, you know, uh, lady uh, sailors and watch a little bit on TV, but uh, they want to learn. And, and, and you can tell, I, you know, I saw them two weeks ago. I think it's amazing how much I was impressed two weeks ago to where they're at today. Yeah, little, little sponges, you know, a lot of credit goes out to our youth coaches you know, putting in that time every week with them and, and really stressing the fundamentals and, uh, you know, really cheering on all the kids no matter what jersey color they have. So, you know, they do a good job of seeing the big picture as well, you know, and it's not just, you know, their daughter and, and, and their team. They're really in it. They get the big picture and know that, you know, eventually all these kids are going to form our our girls varsity basketball team, hopefully, so they, they want to support them all. So. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, you did, you just mentioned, uh, Mike, about, uh, you, you call them the varsity coaches, but it's the, the lady sailors that come down here and work with these girls. And, and not only is it good for the girls that are down here to see their heroes that they get to see play, but it's really good for the ladies that are coming down here, the lady sailors, isn't it? Yeah, it, you know, and you, you always think about uh, a lot of the, Varsity players may eventually become coaches, you know, so it kind yes. of gives them a little bit of that coaching experience and puts them on the bench in a whole different perspective, you know, looking at it from a from a coach's angle versus a player's angle, and and uh, what a huge investment to have them come in and volunteer their time on Saturday mornings and to sit with the kids and you know to be here for five weeks, you know. Uh, a lot of credit goes out to them and, and to their parents for raising great kids and understanding the big picture and giving back to, to the youth program that gave them quite a bit. Well, let's quickly talk also about today is a fundraiser and you're starting fundraising and uh, we're calling today's event the uh, Lower the Rim Shoot for Success um, with all the funding going. Can you explain a little bit about the rims and, the, and what you're trying to get here? Yeah, well, what we've done in our first five sessions, we were able to lower the rims down to nine feet. I think what that does, it allows a lot of the, the younger players an opportunity to make more baskets and I think that that helps to build confidence you know the confidence leads to you know them working a little bit harder so what we're trying to do here in the in the middle school gym is uh, get the brackets that is going to allow our main hoops to, to drop down to nine foot so when they're playing the games you know hopefully we have a little bit more success for the kids you see the shots are, are close you know sometimes they just try to throw it up there to make it we really want to try to focus on you know what we stress in the beginning is you know the fundamentals of shooting so you know, hopefully by doing that, the kids have an opportunity to uh, to be a little bit more successful with a nine foot rim. Well, hey, you're, it is successful. We want to congratulate you on the efforts and the things that you've done. I know you're the coordinator of this of uh, the youth, uh, the junior sailors, and you've done a great job. And appreciate all that you've done for us to help us to be able to help bring this to you. And uh, good luck. And uh, it looks like a great bright future for you as uh, you're coaching these young ladies. You got some good ones. Absolutely. 
and uh, obviously have a little bit of a personal investment with my daughter here on the, uh, the green <laughs> slime team. And yes, and the, I, but before you go, I got to say that uh, I know the ladies got to pick their own names yeah. and stuff, and I, I've called a lot of different teams and things, but this has been the first chance I've ever been able to call a game that involved the slime, the green slime. I know yeah. it comes from the Nickelodeon, and I know all that, but uh, uh, yes, great job, and great job, and thanks again, Mike, hey. for all that you do for the kids and all the volunteers, and it uh, makes a difference in the lives of these kids and the ones that you are coaching every day. Hey, thank you, Mike. Teaching. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Mike. That is our special guest, Mike Phillips, who does a great job, as we said here, him and his crew, and with these young ladies, and uh, you know, Joe, it, it, you just can't overemphasize how important sports are, and after, you know, after school activities, positive things for the ladies, for the guys. But we're here with the ladies, and uh, and and the team spirit. We've seen all. We've been talking about the smiles and the fun. So not are they learning the techniques and the basics that will help them today and in the future, but they learn about how to play as a team, how to get along, and how to have just fun, which we seem to forget at times. That's what it's all about. Yep, you have a good time. You, uh, you learn to discipline your time if you play sports in, uh, at, a, at a higher level when you go to junior high and high school. You have to discipline yourself to get your homework done and all those things. And, and you, it's you know I, my girls have played and it's kept them out of trouble. <laughs> it does keep them out. It yeah, helps everybody good. out, you know. And and not only that, they are student athletes, so they're all studying, but they're taking time to do this. As you see, Lauren Hurley dribbling, and I, the level of the skill and the advancement of sports with lady sports is unbelievable. I tell a lot of my. Um, friends and that that haven't been out and for years maybe from the old days when uh, I was in school to come out and watch the sports level you know Caleb uh, Benedict. you know a minute ago when you were talking with coach Phillips she was doing some some beastly work down underneath uh, she had about three or four shots on rim she didn't score it but boy she got the rebounds she was uh, offensive rebounding uh, it was uh, incredible you know, I thought the red team might have a disadvantage. They have a few less players. I think they're only playing six today. And uh, the slime have a full contingent of ten, but it hasn't seemed to affect them in a negative way. No, they are they have not slowed down in their energy level. As you saw Olivia Cashier make another basket. And uh, here comes the slime. The green slime is... Uh, that a girl. Grace Sum um, with a good good move. Yep, Grace Sum um, and there's a call. I think I think she tripped a bit and might have uh, caused her to walk on that play. Here comes a second group to get in. There's Chloe Rose with her sweet headband about to enter. Go after that ball. Shot nice play by number eight. And coming in with a steal, Jenna Baker. Saw a lot of Jenna in the beginning of the game. And uh, that was Elizabeth Eckerman a minute ago. She really had a great play on the ball. Number eight for the Roadrunners. She's working down there, little uh, Eckerman, just working. Nice shot. Look at her get that rebound. Oh, yep. she had it. You know, one thing about um, a kid like that, uh, like Eckerman, uh, second grader, she's playing with these older kids. Yes. Sometimes, you know, you get lost in the tall timbers. They're taller than you. They're bigger than you. They're more experienced than you. And so you have to really work hard. And she was doing a great job there of, uh, of getting in the action. It would be easy to step away and say, you know, I'll let all those big girls do it. Uh, but she was in the middle of it. She was in the middle of it there with Michaela uh, Benedict, who is also a third grader for the Road Runner. As you see, Chloe Rose, she's looking. She's going to come around the left side, go all the way to the basket. She'll take the shot. Nope, she actually tried to I think, pass I think it that over shot there and she did it. 
Over the it Phillips. worked out like a pass, just same as a pass. Allison Phillips in the score. You know, Allison has scored several points tonight, maybe eight. She's the uh, best I can remember. Of course, I'm old. I don't remember well, but I think that's about right. <laughs> hey, look, another shoe tie. This is three for the game. <laughs> that is uh, Michaela uh, Benedict. Benedict. <laughs> yeah, they started seeing that, you know. These ladies are smarter than the guys because the guys, they just keep playing and then tripping and then they got an ankle <laughs> problem. These ladies go, no, no, we're stopping. And we're getting our shoes man, tied. Yes, it is. Nice grab and shot. Oh, oh just missing that was That's Chloe Griswold. 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 Wow. You know, what I liked about that, I think she was out of her range. She caught the ball a little too far away, took two or three dribbles. She got closer and put the ball on the rim. Nice play. Then got fouled. So she got a point. They get a point automatically for going up there. She almost got herself an and one. Yeah. That would have been something. And uh, again, uh, Fisher's doing a great job helping out the ladies. That uh, you can see it really, really pays off here. And heart shot. A little strong. Oh, Benedict with the rebound. Nice job. I, I tell you, she's impressive. Yes. Third grader, she's kind of that tweener. She's not quite second. You know, she's, she's a little older. Not quite a fourth grader. With all that experience, she's playing well. You know, we're talking about today's uh, fundraiser and uh, these video uh, broadcasts is for the fundraiser to lower these nets. But we talked about a little bit off the air. These ladies have been making it even with the nets as high as they are. Doesn't and seem to be again, affecting them any negatively. No, they've been impressive. And Blackmer with the rebound there. There's a lot of timber. Everybody gonna go for the ball in the middle and That's there's a uh, yeah. Summer Darrow's and then in the bottom Phillips. We want to thank Threadgill Production uh, for hey, bringing you this. Tie. That's number four. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Rose too, Chloe Rose. She probably heard you and said, "All right, you know." They, you know, we're, the Olympics see are on right now. This is this could be Olympic record. Four <laughs> shoe ties in one game. Pretty awful. <laughs> yeah. Why, why not? We have stats on everything. Why not have a stat on that? A little battle underneath. Good Chloe. job by Good job. Rose to get it out and over to Phillips, who turns around, puts it right up. And Rose made that interior pass. That's yes, hard to do. She did. Uh, when you're inside like that, uh, one of the most impressive things to be able to do is to make an interior pass. That was well done. Nice job as double dribble on that. Yeah, little double. Great idea by I think Jenna, Jenna Baker. Probably forgot that she had picked up her dribble. Um, someone came over to set a pick, but then uh, it was too late. Yeah, she called the play. And uh, here comes Chloe Rose. She'll go around to the right side. Which is her offhand. Looks to get it across and got a pass over there to Blackmer, who tried to get it over to Phillips. And they're going to call Allison Phillips on the trip. Yep. Allison. You know, Allison just threw that skip pass from one side of the court to the other. That's that's a difficult pass to make. Um, and she put just the right amount of loop. Hey, uh, shoe tie number five going on to my left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to check Two mine. things I have never had. <laughs> Stats on shoe tie and the green slime. <laughs> you know? Never say you've experienced it all. But it's next been time a, out, I'm checking yeah. my shoes. I'm <laughs> yeah. It has been a great day here in uh, the Mona Shores Middle School over here, the home of the Colin the Mariners. As you see, the great action in front of you as Phillips will get in there and. Boy, you just got to love that the was enthusiasm. Summer that, that was a really good hustle play by her. Yes, and we'll switch around a little bit here. and make Robin's sure we coming in, uh, Thumb coming in, or Thum, um, Gagan, Miller. We got eight minutes and 15 seconds left in this game and going right 
to the basket. Look back for the pass. You know, Baker, I believe, has been instructed yes. to pass the ball. Yes. He scored a lot of points early. Um, good coaching there. Let's get some other people involved. I appreciate exactly um, because her her experience level, her size, would she could get uh, pretty much a shot anytime she wants. Yeah, to. she's setting up a screen right there. She's doing a that's a great tip. And then, look at that, and it allowed her teammate uh, uh, Viterbel. Sierra Viterbel to get the score. And that's, that's really a, what you want, Joe. Absolutely. So, and you know what it teaches Baker is that there's more than just scoring. Yes. You've got to learn to pass. There she set a pick. Uh, Viterbel was the benefit of that, the beneficiary. And when you set a pick for someone and they score, they're more likely to set a pick for you the next time. Done. It's just how it works. Yes. No yeah. rebound. <laughs> Coach Rose. Coach Rose, please get I like your hands passion. up. Yes. <laughs> please get your hands up on the defense. I like it. <laughs> nice. There you go. Number five. Mia Gagan. In there uh, get, uh, amongst the tall timbers. With yes. Them, yeah. It will be uh, I'm bringing it down, Grace. Thumb and uh, Grace is going to now get it over to Grace. And uh, that was actually with uh, her left hand there. In there. Yep. Good work. Before we talked about this. At this age, dribbling with your left hand, if that's not your dominant hand, is very difficult. It I is. Want you to get back after it with defense. Nice play, a back tip. Uh, yes. Greasy like, thumb there, excellent defense. You know, the, the ball was stolen. A lot of times you hang your head, you act like, man, you know, I'm I'm done. And uh, she didn't give up on the play. That was really well done. And the back tipping, <laughs> it's, it's just a great job. <laughs> it is. This kid's in third grade. That's just it's really amazing. Good. Nobody <laughs> is right. Nobody there to, to block out uh, Cashier with the school. Cashier, Olivia Cashier. <laughs> Coach Rose is like, please get someone out there. <laughs> They'll get it. You know, I love his patience. Yes. It, patience and passion. He's doing yes. well. Nice combination. Let's move it up. Move it up. Been some great coaching, some great playing, and great excitement here. And Coach a really Cashier's fun doing day. a good job, too. He, he is. A minute ago with, uh, with Baker, some of the things he's done with her. Here comes Benedict. But you know, strong she'll game. go in and it's make nice a play. shot. Boy. You know, you just really got to love the fact that the fundamentals, they know what to do, shoot, and everyone is ready for the rebound. But it's almost like, Joe, when you teach somebody, if they don't know that it's not that easy to dribble with your left hand, no one ever talks about that. You don't know any different, so you, you do it. I, I talked about that earlier when we saw, uh, when I was here a couple of weeks ago, so... Um, Allison Threadgill, who's an excellent uh, player with a guard and dribbles and does it naturally. And she's a right-handed player, you know, that right right-handed naturally, but boy, you you learn that left. Oh, then it opens up a lot years of uh, training to be able to do that. And you yep. learn it right now is the time to do it. As you see, the slime are going to get the ball. It's like with, learning a foreign language. You want to do yes. it early. You don't want to do it late. <laughs> Four minutes and 37 seconds left, and they're battling underneath. They be in, uh, the slime. Well, that was Rose, the slime, and the Roadrunners. And the Roadrunners are going to get that on the jump ball as Benedict will throw it in. You know, Blackbeard's bringing it up, and, and it's nice for the taller girls to get to handle the ball sometimes. Yes. A lot of times um, you stick them underneath, and they don't get a chance to dribble. She's doing, doing a good job. Looking and up at the top to Viterbel. I like her good game. Good defense. Well Steal. Done. Well done. That is uh, Gagnon. Or no, uh, Cannon. Cannon. Good save. Good save. Allison Phillips with the save. Together, Green. She's trying see, to she find didn't get it. up yep. on that. She was on her knees. She knew she couldn't stand. She made the pass. It was well done. And. 
You know, the slot, they're doing a good job of battling on the boards on the offensive side. Yes, they Sometimes are. on the defensive side, they, they back away, and, and they'll learn. That's one of those things. Hey, number seven, Chuta, here we go. <laughs> Are we going to hit eight? <laughs> could we hit eight? We should uh, this like, have an over this under is on this. This could be like a Vegas bet. <laughs> yeah, over and under. What are those yeah. called? The specialty bets or uh, a boutique bet, I believe yeah. it's called. Oh, nice pass. To As a pastor, I don't know how I know that, by the way. I don't really know. Oh, you watch a lot of TV. <laughs> <laughs> I watch a lot of football. That's yeah, what it is. Exactly. Look at this. Oh, that oh, is gave a, it away a and great interior pass. Tough to do. Cashier. Nice. And you are correct, Joe, about the, you know, get the kids that are uh, taller, getting used to. You know, we really have gotten away from in coaching about you're only, if you're tall, you're not able to dribble. We're not going to have you dribble. And so kids don't get that. Nice well, they pass. do, as you can see at this level here. And, uh, and it shows uh, up in the varsity level. Absolutely. You know, the Mona Shivers, uh Lady Sailors, uh, you know, Grand Haven Buccaneers, of course, who have won uh, uh, two state championships. And uh, you've got the taller girls doing the skills. And they all started right here. Yeah, you're, you're just limiting your game if you can't dribble. And you're looking at the future uh, Lady Sailors here. And That's definitely could be some future state champions and uh, district. And if nothing else, some uh, young ladies that will have a great time and fun. Ball rolling right toward us. And they've already are having fun and playing great basketball. There you go. Right number in eight. front of you. She did that for you. Chloe, are you tying that shoe number eight? That's the eighth shoe tie today. Eight. Four for Chloe. According to her dad. Well done. Only the dad would remember that. <laughs> Chloe looked over at her dad, Ken. Thanks a lot. Uh, That's she a, makes a steal. Nice steal. Play. Go show him. <laughs> Left-handed. Maggot. Yes. yes, she does. Good for her. Like you guys well give me a rough time about time my shoe. And I keep Joe Best quiet and my father. Great job. Shoota schmoota. I'm gonna score. <laughs> yeah. <gonna> score, buddy. <laughs> You haven't had a chance to get down and see these ladies play because they're fun at all levels here and support the uh, Mona Shore uh, Lady Sailors this year as they're over here helping coaching these girls. Oh, a little long. I say by number three. There we go. The threes against the threes. Phillips, she'll go all the way. You know, Griswold did a good job on that play. Uh, that really should have gone out of bounds. She made the effort yes. to get there. Battling right down to the end. We're under 50 seconds. What I like is just we start out full speed and we're going to end up where the lady is going full speed as Cashier is going to put it up. You know, I'm watching Eckerman again over on the uh, red team. <laughs> she is, she's cute as a button. Second grader. Phillips puts it in right at the end. Getting into their track meet here at the end. Boy, they've been running up and down the court. Just how they started and taking the ball will be Viterbout. Taking it to her right. And Rose gets the ball, gets the steal. Maybe it'll be the one last shot, maybe pass Phillips. Great play. Well, it's been a great day and a great fun time here and a great game by the Green Slime and the uh, Red Road Runners, as uh, it'll be the Road Runners winning 29-13 over the Green Slime. But Here's more importantly was uh, the sportsmanship and the fun that you get to see here. As you see the ladies uh, smiling, they know each other, they go to school with each other, and uh, they know they get to play against each other uh, again. And everyone and, uh, gave good effort. You know, we always talk about uh, it's all about effort. Are you are you doing your best? Are you trying hard? And uh, the coaches, all the way from the coaches to the kids, they did well today. And it has been fun. And so, as it has been the 2014 Lower the Rim 
Shoot for Success fundraiser here at uh, Mona Shores Middle School. This is Floyd Fonte. I want to thank Joe Best here. Joe, great having you here. Great having you helping with this uh, fundraiser. And of course, couldn't be possible without the Threadgill Productions and the great job that we've had by Dennis Threadgill, who uh, out there caring about kids and put together this fundraiser and what a great fundraiser it is and and a fun time for everybody so thanks for everyone out there for not only watching but for contributing to this great cause and uh, good luck to all the young ladies here as they continue through not only this season but the rest of the seasons that they have before them so this is Floyd Fontaine on behalf of Joe Best and Dennis Threadkill and Threadkill Productions saying thanks for watching here on the 2014 Lower the Rim Save the Success Fundraiser. Threadkill Productions produces the types of videos that grows, informs, and enhances your business, whether it's for promotional, training, or nonprofits. Call Dennis at 231 903-2128.